Dating back to as early as 575 BCE, the Ishtar Gate was one of the eight magnificent pathways into ancient Babylon's inner city. The gate was originally located on the northern side of Babylon. This awesome historic monument was built by King Nebuchadnezzar II and is made mention of in ancient cuneiform inscriptions. With a total length of approximately 45 meters, the gate's awesome detail reveals vivid depictions of Babylonian deities with rows of ras relief dragons, bulls and lions, symbolizing the gods Marduk, Adad and Ishtar, from whose title the gate was named after. However, the Ishtar gate was not a standalone monument as it was surrounded by many magnificent buildings which included the famous Ninmah temple and the great temple of Ninhusag, whose walls and roofs sustained heavy damage following the American use of the ancient monument as a military base, resulting in gravel and debris covering over 4,000 acres. In its antiquity, the Ishtar Gate was an integral part of the grand Babylonian architectural complex that once encompassed its magnificent palace, gardens, temples, pathways and city walls. It is reported that the ancient city was once adorned by nearly 15 million ornamental bricks. Ancient travelers passing through the Ishtar Gate would inevitably have to walk through the processional street. This was a pathway leading out of the Ishtar Gate for a distance of around half a mile. It was adorned with magnificent walls on either side, whose vivid imagery of bulls, lions, dragons and flowers were depicted on shiny yellow and black bricks which would have surely left visitors in awe. Today, only the lower part of the Ishtar Gate remains visible at the original site of the ancient Babylonian city. Other parts of the Ishtar Gate are housed across various museums around the world. A reconstruction of this ancient monument is currently being exhibited in Berlin's Pargamon Museum, where visitors can experience what it may have felt like to walk through these monumental gates. The British Museum also has exhibits for these monuments.